Translators, have a dropped novel you want to read more chapters of. Come here, Patriarch, Zeus smiled at Jenglis Heng and said, Brotherless Heng, this matter is up to you. You can step up. The villagers are waiting. Jenglis Heng's blood was stuck in his heart. The good person was done by those with the surname Zhu. He hadn't said anything yet now. He had to be someone else's servant completing tasks. The key is that he can say anything. Who told the young master Mel who to leave him hanging and play him miserably? Don't worry. This will be done soon. Patriarch Zhu smiled and nodded, then patted him on the shoulder before he left. Jenglis Heng swallowed down another bit of blood. Patriarch Zhu came out of Liz Heng's house and went home with Zhu Ting Reng by his side. When he arrived at the door, Patriarch Zhu turned his head and looked at him. It's okay now. You don't need to accompany this old man with me. Patriarch, you are very good. You have one glory for the Zhu family. Zhu Ting Reng smiled embarrassedly. Patriarch, I only saw that everyone was getting angry and anxious. Because these things are not worthwhile. I can only help out the best I can. Patriarch Zhu patted him on the shoulder. All right. You little bastard don't have to pretend in front of this old man. No matter what you want to do, as I have told you, everything should be based on the interests of the people surname Zhu first. After speaking, he hummed an unknown tune and entered the courtyard gate. It's been a long time since he has been so happy and relaxed. And seeing Jenglis Heng's aggrieved old face, Patriarch Zhu felt he could eat a few more bowls of rice today. Zhu Ting Reng stood in front of the door. Everything is based on the interests of the Zhu family, to bring honor to the Zhu family, and even better, if the surname Zheng could be suppressed as well. Because of this, Zhu Ting Rang easily invited Patriarch Zhu to take the lead. This is the case for Patriarch Zhu. As before, he supported Zhu Qingshan. As before, for the face of Zhu's family, forcing Elder Zhu to only send Zhu Gazi. As before, when Zhu Qingshan went to invite him, he chose to stand on the side of Zhu Qingshan. As this time, he did not hesitate to make himself happy. Zhu Ting Rang smiled and turned to leave. Zheng Lis Heng was very agile and knew that he couldn't delay, so he got the land deed the next day. The villagers all gathered at his house to divide the money, but Zhao did not go nor did Zhu Ting Rang. Here you go. Zhu Ting Rang handed Zhao the title deed with a big red seal on it. But Zhao was not very happy. It is correct to say that even these days she is a little heavy-hearted and worried. What's wrong until then? Zhu Ting Rang realized that he was too busy for the past two days when he came back. Zhao sighed suddenly and glanced at him. Do you know why I added dozens of Yang silver to the amount? Zhu Ting Rang pursed his mouth, did not speak, and put on an expression that showed he was willing to hear the details. But for a while, Zhao didn't know what to say and just said, "Don't do this in the future." This kind of Zhao made Zhu Ting Rang surprisingly unaccustomed, and it also reminded him of the quarrel between him and Zhao in his dreams. After the two got married, they quarreled a lot. Although Zhao didn't want to quarrel with him and he always kept back from quarreling with her, the two always disagreed a lot on matters. He insisted that he was right. She would be perfunctory if she couldn't be silent if she couldn't be perfunctory. He would be particularly angry that she was not considerate of him, and she was also unhappy. Sometimes, for some reason, it would become like this. Do you think I did something wrong? His voice tightened. Zhao sighed inwardly, then forced a smile. Let's not talk about it anymore. All in all, it's a good thing. In fact, she also blamed herself for this matter. The little man couldn't handle this matter alone, and she intervened in the situation afterwards. However, she didn't expect that things would turn out to be like this. It should be correct to say that Zhu Ting Rang's ability to control people's hearts was too astonishing, and Zhao was completely unprepared. She was joyful in the first half of the matter, but when she went to the mountain and looked at the villagers who worked hard but were smiling, the joy suddenly disappeared without a trace. She also didn't know why she was unhappy, why she felt guilty. She felt that she had fooled the villagers for her own sake. No one owes anyone, so why are they playing the whole village because they want to get what they want smoothly? This kind of fooling people all made Zhao's heart skip. So she superfluously sought out Zhu Qinghu and others. It was obvious that she could complete the task with only 50 yang on her own, but she had negotiated with someone else and raised another 50 yang in the name of joining the business. Do you think I was wrong, Power? We? You think what I did was not right? This sentence was affirmative. Zhu Ting Rang's mouth was pressed tighter, his jaw tightened, and his eyes fixed on her tightly. No, I don't think you're wrong. I know you're doing things for me. I just. What? I just think we shouldn't fool people at all. No matter what we want, we should use proper means instead of playing others around. You don't know that when I went up the mountain, seeing everyone happy, my heart was particularly uncomfortable. I think people must be respectful and we can't just fool others just because we are clever. This feeling is particularly bad. Zhao has spoken coherently, and Zhu Ting Rang, who had been staring at her closely, heard the black mist in his eyes become thicker and thicker, and a low pressure enveloped him. Zhao hadn't noticed yet and was still murmuring chaotically. Gower, Ji knows you are smart. Even if they say you're not as smart as Zhu Junke, I know my Gower is smarter than him. But being smart shouldn't let you do whatever you want. You have to put your smarts on the right road. You make me very worried. Today we fooled others and maybe in the future others are stronger than us and fool us. If we always use this method, Ji is afraid that you will do something more terrible and cause a terrible disaster. What else can you do? Do you think it counts to control the court and fool the Emperor? In fact, she was right. He was such a person in his bones. Without regard for laws, no observance of discipline, everything is for self-interest, and never cares about whether he may hurt others. Zhao still hasn't gone to school, and she understood many principles but couldn't say it. But Zhu Tingrang understood her meaning from her words and phrases. His first reaction was to be scornful, even disdain to explain. But listening to her say such things, what he thought more was that she was actually caring about him. Therefore, she took out an extra fifty liang silver. So she was afraid that someday he will be exposed and carry a bad name. So she knew that he didn't want to listen, but she still said it. The storm that condensed with low air pressure disappeared silently. Zhu Tingrang relaxed the muscles of his cheeks, and his tight mouth also eased. Then, have you ever thought about how we can get this piece of land by proper means? He suddenly said, interrupting Zhao's mumbling. We, yes, we can go directly to Jenglis Heng. We should be able to take down this piece of land with more effort. But have you thought about it in the future? I can see that you value this piece of land very much, and you must put a lot of thought into it. With your ability, you should be able to make a lot of money from it. But have you ever thought that if you really make a lot of money by relying on this piece of land, what should you do if someone is jealous and starts making trouble? If it's just one or two, it's okay. But what if half the village is jealous? Zhao wanted to say something, but Zhu Tingrang stopped her. Don't talk about land deeds. You should understand what the rules are in this countryside. Zhao was struck by lightning. Yes, this place in the countryside is different from other places. If it is said that the government's rules are useful and useful, but it can also be said to be useless. Sometimes the deterrence of the government is not as good as the number of males in the family. Zhao had seen two villagers who robbed water and killed people during the drought. The government couldn't control it because there were too many people at that time and they didn't know who killed them. So the two villagers sat together, and everything was resolved. She has also seen a house with no males, and only a orphan and a widow left when the man died. The clan decided to forcibly seed the house and land to relatives of the same surname. Zheng Lisheng has always regarded the Zhu family as a major enemy. Even if we spend a lot of effort to buy the land, if someone has thoughts in the future, he will definitely help it. And don't forget Dafeng. Don't forget grandpa and grandmother. These people are all elders. As long as we don't leave here for one day and still have the surname Zhu for one day, we have to guard against them. I know that you want this piece of land, so I use these means to clear your future worries. If you don't like it, I won't do